Sunday night for dinner and it's snowing outside so it's the perfect day for a big bowl of soup. It's um, my homemade chicken and barley soup. It's got onion, carrots, chicken and barley obviously in it. And I made it with the carcass from the roast chicken dinner that we had last night. There was still like a leggy chicken and plenty of chicken on it as well. So it's completely sin free and we'll probably have more than one bowl. That's mine. And that's Ali's and he's going to have some bread with his. I already used my healthy extra bee choice today so I'm just having soup. Tuesday night for dinner and we're having homemade mozzarella stuffed meatballs with spaghetti. I've got, I'll say six cents worth of the mozzarella cheese in there just to be safe. It wasn't the full six cents worth but I'll just say it just, I'll just count it at six just to be safe. And the meatballs I made with the 5% beef mince and I added some herbs and you know onion granules, garlic granules and stuff in them. And the sauce is homemade, it's just like a homemade tomato sauce with some chilli in it for a little bit of kick. And I've topped mine with some mushrooms for speed, try to get some speed in there, although I'm not, really, really not in the mood for speed. <laughs> um, so that's my one. That's Mark's one, he's got some cheese on his and so has Ali. Wednesday night for dinner and Ali and I are craving salt and chilli chips from the Chinese so I've made some salt and chilli chicken <laughs> that's slim and world friendly. It's a recipe I've seen online but I've adapted it basically taking out the oil, the toasted sesame oil and things like that to make it slim and world friendly. It's one sun and that is for the corn flour that I use to coat the chicken and it's got a green pepper, a red pepper, chilli, onions, spring onions and a carrot in there so plenty of speed veg and I'm just having it on some plain boiled rice so it's one sin for the whole meal so that's my one and that's Ali's Thursday night for dinner and we're having homemade scotch eggs I used the 5% pork mince in mine and added some herbs and spices in that and for the breadcrumbs on the outside, it's literally breadcrumbs. I used one slice of wholemeal bread and I just blended it in the blender till it was fine, fine breadcrumbs. So I've got one and a half scotch eggs, they're completely sin free. I've got some sauerkraut, some roasted cauliflower, that's just got some paprika and salt on it. And then some homemade sin free wedges. So the wholemeal's complete, the wholemeal, aye, the wholemeal is completely sin free. So that's my one. And I made Mark and Ali their scotch eggs with just uh, pork sausages, the cheap value pork sausages, and done the same, added the same herbs and spices I added to my one to theirs. And they've got golden breadcrumbs on the outside, but they are baked, so they're a little bit healthy. And they've got one and a half each. And again, Ali's got sauerkraut, a little bit of roasted cauliflower to try some sweet corn and wedges and Mark's got everything apart from the sauerkraut. So I forgot to record Friday night's dinner. On Friday night we had more scotch eggs. We had the scotch eggs on Thursday night and then we had the leftover ones on Friday night with a salad. And then last night we may have had a cheeky little takeaway so I skipped recording that. And tonight, which is Sunday night, we're having a roast beef roast dinner. So this is my one. I've done the beef in the slow cooker like I normally do. And I just shred it up because it's just so soft and won't cut into nice slices. Um, and I've also, I took out two of the Linda McCartney and Red Onion and Rosemary sausages, which are sin free. And I just rolled them in, defrosted them and then rolled them into little stuffing balls for myself. And then I've got some roast potatoes, sin free. And then for speed, I've got broccoli and carrots. So this is completely sin free, this meal. I may add some sins by adding a few spoonfuls of gravy, but I've got to work out the sins before I do that. This is Mark's one. He's not got stuffing balls, uh, but he's got Yorkshire puddings and so has Ali. And they're going to have lots of gravy. They don't need to count it. <laughs> 